Following an outbreak of war in Sudan about two weeks ago, over 300 Ugandans got caught up in the middle of the fighting as clashes between Sudanese armed forces led by General Abdel Fattah and the Rapid Support Forces paramilitary group led by General Mohamed Hamdan take center stage. According to the Executive Director of Uganda Media Center of Onopondo, government has successfully evacuated 208 Ugandans and we are meant to arrive in the country today. But mobility constraints have hampered this arrangement and are expected to arrive tomorrow. Our expectation was that when they arrived this morning and they are processed through the usual means of immigration, the Uganda government had chartered the Uganda Airlines plane to go and airlift them so that they should have arrived here by 1 o'clock or 2 p.m. This hasn't been possible because it was discovered late in the night that that airport, the runway is too small for the airbus of Uganda Airlines. And so there are new negotiations to allow us to use another airport in the north of Ethiopia. The said group is currently at Badaga direct east of Ethiopia, where they were transferred by bus and will move further north to Baidan, where a Uganda Airlines aircraft will airlift them. Government is also tracing an estimated 100 more Ugandans that were left behind for possible evacuation. You may now ask if there were more than 300, where are the others? The presumption is they have gone back to their ordinary places of abode. A few others have managed to link up with the French, who are also evacuating their people, and the Egyptians. And they have gone to Cairo and Djibouti. Currently, the government of Uganda does not know the exact number of Ugandans who have taken the third option. Jodamu Wangizi, NBS Live at 9.